Hey again everyone, I'm back with another video for you today and I have a fun little sewing project that I just finished uh, one day last week that I want to share with you and I had a lot of fun making it, I've had a lot of fun using it and I was inspired to make it right here on YouTube. My squishy bag. I hope that you can see this fairly well. This is navy and then some yellow chevron um, and then just a little blue and white striped tag here, um, handle. Um, about a month or so ago, I was watching Erica at Confessions of a Homeschooler and she had this little bag that she had dubbed the Squishy Project Bag and I think she was working on some socks that she was knitting and she wanted a little bag to, to put those things in and she dubbed it the squishy bag because you can roll it down um, to have your project easier to uh, reach and <laughs> I'll get it out and then when you finish with your project you just pull it back up and zip it. And as you can see, this project bag holds two uh, full-size skeins of yarn of the seven ounces of the Red Heart Super Saver. And I thought it was darling. I was really excited. I wanted to make it and I just didn't get to it. So, um, some time ago, week to two weeks ago I found myself at my parents house for an extended period about 10 days and I didn't really plan this visit it was an unexpected visit and hello Teddy and so I didn't bring any of my crocheting with me I didn't bring any books uh, I had books on um, my phone but um, that was it so, um, one day I went to their local Walmart and picked up some yarn and a crochet hook so I could uh, at least do something. And then I remembered that I had wanted to make that squishy bag. So Erica made it really easy. I went to her blog from my phone right there in the store. She had all of the uh, ingredients, like I'm, a, I'm cooking something all the supplies needed listed right there on her website with the um, the sizes and I just went around and got what I needed and I'll show you what I got in just a second okay so I have gathered all of the supplies that I bought that day and I found the receipt because <laughs> I never throw anything away um, to show you um, what I got and tell you how much I paid for it. So it was a really inexpensive um, bag to make. Um, first thing that I got was um, I bought some little individually wrapped fat quarters in solid colors. Um, I wasn't sure exactly how many I was going to need and so I wanted to make a couple of different things while I was there and I wasn't sure what colors I wanted to go with what or which fabrics with what so I just bought some extras um, and what I ended up using was not even a full um, fat quarter of navy I think that's how much that's left um, two and these were 97 cents a piece for each solid and then I used two of the bright yellow and that is actually the lining of the bag I wanted a, a bright a, a lighter brighter color for the lining because I initially planned for this to be um, a crochet bag and I thought digging around for um, my little needles, um, the yarn needles, and some of the smaller hooks. I, I wanted to be able to see, so um, since the 
fabric on the bottom was dark, I wanted to have a, a bright colored lining fabric. So I used two of the solid um, fat quarters, a uh, solid yellow fat quarters. And see, you see how much of these I have left. So I still have plenty to do other projects. Um, so I did not end up using one of the navy and I did not use the white at all. So I have some extra stuff. All right, so let me move these over here. Um, so those were 97 cents a piece. And there we go. Then I bought a little fat quarter bundle and it was $4.88. And there were five fabrics in here and you see I still have four. I did not use these. Um, I didn't cut anything on these at all. And uh, this is the remainder of the chevron print that I did use, so there's still quite a bit for me to use with this. And um, so I have extra stuff to make other things later. And then I bought a zipper, just a, a plain white all-purpose polyester zipper, 14 inch and it was a dollar seventy seven um i bought a spool of white thread uh for a dollar and then i think the only other thing i bought for this project was the batting and i uh paid where is it six dollars and ninety seven cents and this is a um a small quilt, a uh, small, uh, hmm, hmm, words out, Jess. <laughs> uh, the batting for a small uh, quilt lap blanket or crib size project. Uh, it says it's 45 by 60. And uh, so I have tons of this left over for other projects. So yay me. So that's what I purchased for the um, the bag and then uh, my mom had just the little piece of um, blue fabric for the handle that she gave me a big bag of fabric so I used that found a cute blue for that the project was easy it was fun it was inexpensive it did not take me long to do and let me tell you this the other thing um, my mom's sewing machine didn't work, so I did the whole thing by hand. Um, and it really wasn't that difficult. And I, I used some friction pens to mark the lines on the fabric because I'm not a very straight hand seamstress. So I wanted to make sure since um, I... I was really trying very hard to make this as cute as I could and I only messed up one time I didn't get that seam exactly lined up but for having not sewn anything in several years and definitely not sewn anything by hand this large in a long time the only thing I've been doing lately is just mending things um, I, I thought it turned out great <laughs> and um, it I started working on it on a Wednesday night and I finished it in a week uh, with just working a few hours a day on it and what I did for the quilting part um, especially with the dark fabric um, the friction pins that I had would not show up so I, I basted some uh, with white thread my lines on here and then I just followed my basting and then uh, to, to quilt it that way. And, but up here I did um, horizontal quilting and I, the friction pens just ironed right out. The ink just ironed right out. So I was really, really happy with the, the bag. And I thought it turned out really cute and 
I'm just really happy with it. Now, I did initially plan for it to be a crochet project bag. However, because I tend to make mostly afghans, I, I, I rarely just use one or two skeins of yarn and after I've crocheted for a while, there's no way an afghan's gonna fit in here. So what I decided to do instead was make this my YouTube bag. And I have a composition book where I keep all my notes and uh, calendar and um, video ideas in the notebook. And so that fits down in here perfectly. My friction pen fits down in there. Uh, my selfie stick, uh, my, <laughs> my phone case, and uh, my tripod, which it's being used right now, so I can't show you it going in here. So, But anyway, all of that fits right in here, and there's even room for a book, um, and zip it up, and it's good to go. I didn't check to see. Let me let me see something. Um, I know my Kindle will fit in here um, because it's small. I wanted to see. Sorry about that. Did I hurt you? Okay, good. I wanted to see if my Chromebook would fit in here. Well, well, it does. It won't zip though, and I well, it might zip, but I don't want to force it. It's just a little bit too short for that, but I could probably make another bag for that. But I know my Kindle will fit in here, my chargers, um, my selfie stick, everything that I need for YouTube on the go can go in here. Um, and so I'm, I'm really excited about that. And I can put several of my pens in here, and they can be the friction pens, and then I don't have to worry about them writing on the inside of the lining because then I have, all I have to do is get an iron and and it disappears. Uh, my mother said, "What will they think of next?" <laughs> she was so cute. Um, so anyway, I'm going to say a big thank you to Erica for uh, teaching this project on your channel. I had so much fun. I'm going to post pictures of it to Instagram, and I was just very, Teddy is being silly. I was just really excited to do this, and so thank you. I will put Erica's information in the box below so that you can um, go to her video. The video teaches you everything that you need to do step by step, and it was easy to follow, thoroughly explained, and easy even to sew it by hand. So um, I was very pleased. Um, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Fly high, Pooh Bear.